Hello grade 8 learners, welcome back to English Time and today we will learn about biases and propaganda devices. So I hope you are ready to learn and what are we waiting for? Let's go! Hello, I am requesting everybody to please be attentive and participative today because the following topic is very essential and timely. So please stay connected. And here are the objectives for today's lesson. First, identify biases and propaganda or propaganda techniques. Next, develop skills in making judgments based on your personal point of view using varied propaganda devices. Okay, but first let us play a game. I will give you the taglines from prominent products, services, or businesses, and you will tell the name or title of product, service, or services, or businesses. Let's have the example first. The tagline, Bida Ang Saya. Correct. It's Jollibee. Everybody knows it. Tagline, It won't let you down. Correct. The answer is, Rizana. Remember, according to Albert Einstein, the true sign of intelligence is not knowledge but imagination. Let's go. I think everybody's ready. Tag it, number one. Just do it. Number two, is finger licking good? All right, let's reveal the answers. The first one is Nike. The second one is KFC. Right, I hope you get it. Number three, we find ways. Number four, parang natutulog lang. And the answers are BDO and St. Peter Lifeman Chapels. I hope you get it. And for the last, we have Lucky Me and Kapuso ng Bawat Pilipino. And the answers are Lucky Me and GMA Kapuso ng Bawat Pilipino. Okay, GMA as the station. Remember that this is related or this topic is related to politicians, media, and advertisers. And today you will know propaganda has two words under it, the advertisement and techniques. Under the advertisement, we have public opinion and also we have commercialization. Under the word techniques, we have style and promotion. And today, you will learn how these words are related to what we are going to talk about. Okay, directions for our review. Study the following pictures. They have big roles in convincing people. Explain each picture and tell how can they influence us. All you need to do is just to type your answer on the comment section. Okay, let's proceed with picture number one. Correct. Media, or this photo refers to the sources of information of nowadays. Media, newspapers, internet, television, radio, and magazines. We also have Okay, this photo number two on the right, okay, tells about advertising the things that we should consider in advertising. Customer, target plan, creativity, marketing strategies, sales, communication, and cross-media. That's why on Facebook, you can see tons of advertising companies, okay? They are also using Facebook because they want to reach people. Next, let's proceed. Okay, in photo number 3 on the left, you can see the words vote. This relates to politician, correct? Now, let's have this one. Correct. You can see that there is somebody who wants to borrow money from somebody. Okay? Okay, we will be talking about biases. Biases are judgments based on personal point of view. Okay, when we say biases, we do this by judging something basing on our personal point of view and not basing on the fact that is presented to us. Means, it is our personal choice. If I want something, if I believe something, I believe it through bias. Okay, I use my judgment based on my personal point of view. Next. To further understand this, we are going to relate this with Propaganda. Propaganda is also known as persuasive technique. The target of this activity is to identify the different propaganda techniques. 
this activity talking about how we use propaganda techniques. Advertisers, media, politicians, and even you and I use propaganda. The goals of propaganda are, generally, it is used to have an appeal to emotion and not to intellect. It attempts to change your behavior. Propaganda is also used to attempt to guide your choice. It means the propaganda technique is used to appeal to your emotion or feeling and not the mind or the intellect. Okay? It will also change your behavior. Okay? And sometimes it guides your choice. So here are the different propaganda techniques that we can use. Bandwagon, testimonial, name calling, transfer, plain fox, loaded words or loaded, and glittering or glittering generalities. The types of propaganda techniques. Let's have the first one. Bandwagon. It's a persuasive technique and a type of propaganda through which a writer persuades his readers so that the majority could agree with the argument of the writer. She does this by suggesting that since the majority agrees, the reader should too. It means we use bandwagon to persuade. In Filipino, manghikayat. Para hikayatin ang iba na maniwala sa kanyang sinasabi. Ginagamit ito ng writer para makapaghikayat ng ibang tao. That's why when we see or when we browse Facebook, sometimes we easily agree onto something that we read because it's using bandwagon. Hinihikaya tayo nito na maniwala since ang majority ay naniniwala. Sinasabi sa atin ng bandwagon technique na maniwala ka rin. Okay? Let's have the example here. Example. It is used in advertisement. Okay? Bandwagon as used in advertising. Okay? The bandwagon here is used as the technique or the propaganda technique in this particular product. The drink everybody knows. Coca-Cola. Okay? So in here, nakikita mo no, na sinasabing the drink na alam ng lahat. Ang inumin na alam ng lahat. Coca-Cola. Sinasabi dito na everybody knows. Sinasabi sa iyo, alam ng lahat. Ina-emphasize niya yung alam ng lahat para ikaw piliin mo rin bilang isang consumer. Right? So, ganyang ginagamit ang bedwagon. Ibig sabihin, you join or you believe or you buy this one because this is already famous. Okay? Or known by everybody. Let's have another examples. Okay. We have just do it. Everyone else did. Nike. Okay? Sabi, gawin mo na kasi ginawa na na bawat isa. Okay? So, bilhin mo na itong sapatos na to. So, that's what it wants. Right? Next, we have McDonald's. Over 99 billion serve. Sinasabi na napagsilbihan na daw ang mga tao na nasa 99 billion. So, ano pang hinihintay mo? Kumain ka na sa McDonald's. Ganyan po ginagamit ang bandwagon. Okay? Let's proceed with testimonial. Testimonial is the celebrity endorsement of philosophy, movement, or candidate. In advertising, for example, athletes are often paid millions of dollars to promote sports, shoes, equipment, and fast food. Nowadays, even cell phones, etc. Right? Sabihin, sa testimonial, ginagamit ang mga sikat or celebrity na tao para lang mag-promote na something. Okay? Karaniwan athletes ang ginagamit. No? Let's have the example. Right. I think everybody knows him. He is, correct, Stephen Curry. Okay. He promotes Vivo in this particular photo advertising, in this particular photo. Right? So, tawag dito ay testimonial. Pinapatunayan ng isang sikat na ang Vivo is a product. Now, let's proceed to plain forms. When we say plain folks, these are identified with common people from every walk of life. Common people, pangkaraniwang tao lamang ang ginagamit sa plain folks. Sa advertising, pangkaraniwang tao. But when it comes to writing, we are giving plain folks or the common people as our example. Okay? A convincing method to show they are just common. Let's have the example for common people. Plain folks. Sketchers, footwear, no? Dito makikita nyo na ang ginamit nating model ay hindi sikat, hindi athlete, or hindi celebrity. Mga simpleng 
tao lang. Sila ay simpleng pamilya lang. No? Kasi gustong patunayan dito ng advertiser ay ang product ay sinusot ng plain folks or pang karaniwang tao. So, let's proceed with name calling. Ano ang name calling? Name calling is a cognitive bias. When you say cognitive, it refers to the mind. No? Cognitive bias and the technique to promote propaganda. Propagandists use the name calling technique to invoke fear in those exposed to the propaganda. Ibig sabihin, ginagamit ito para manakot, no? Para manakot ng iba pa na may propaganda. Resulting in the formation of a negative opinion about a person, a group, or set of beliefs or ideas. Sa madaling salita, a name calling is similar to paninira. Alright? Ibig sabihin, sinisiraan yung isang tao, grupo, or paniniwala o kaya naman ay idea. Name calling example. Big Mac seems more like a medium. Yan. So, dito, ito ay isang commercial photo ng Burger King. No? Alam naman natin yung Mac refers to McDo. Pinasabi nila, Big Mac? Big Mac? Okay? Pero, maliit lang sinasabi niya. Pero, ang size naman ng burger nyo ay medyo. Okay? So, ang tawag dito ay name calling. Pag nakita ito ng tao, pwede yung tao hindi na bumili sa McDo. At pwedeng bumili na lang sa Burger King kasi mas malaki. Kasi mas malaki pala yung kanilang burger. So, ito po ang example na name calling. Okay, let's proceed with glittering, transfer, and loaded. Let's first talk about glittering. Glittering is also called glittering generalities are words that sound attractive or catchy but don't mean anything. Let's have the example. The best coffee for the best you. Okay, glittering, no? Makinang ang mga salita. Pero wala namang ibig sabihin. Kasi gumamit lang siya ng best kaya siya kapansin-pansin, no? Sinasabi, uh, best ang kape na ito para sa best you. Huh? You deserve this coffee. Pero, it doesn't mean na itong coffee na ito ay the best na, no? Maybe idea lang yun ang mga advertisers. Pero para sa ibang tao, or hindi sa lahat ng tao, ang coffee na ito ay the best. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, gumagamit siya ng glittering generality words. Okay? Yan na-generalize niya na best ito para sa iyo. So that you will buy this product. Of course, in writing, the author or the writer can also use this technique, the glittering generalities, okay, to persuade someone, okay, to believe, or to have a flowery words. Okay, next, let's have, let's go back. Transfer. What is the transfer technique? This tries to make you view something in the same way as they view something else. Okay? Ibig sabihin, ginagamit ito ng mga tao na gusto kang pagpaniwalain sa kanilang mga paniniwala. Okay? Gusto nila, isipin mo kung ano ang kanilang iniisip. Gawin mo kung ano ang kanilang ginagawa. Let's have the example. When you ride alone, you ride with Hitler. Join a car sharing club today. Kaya ito tinawag na transfer kasi hinihikayat ito ang tao na paniwalaan kung ano ang kanilang pinaniniwalaan. Okay, sabihin, dahil naniniwala kami na kapag meron kong kasama ay parang hindi ka nag-drive na parang kasama si Hitler. Okay, Hitler refers to danger, right? Means, dapat sumama ka na sa akin. Car sharing club today. So that your car will be in safe hands. It also will be cared for, right? Okay, ikan ang buwang ating transfer. Next, let's have the loaded. Loaded word is rhetoric used to influence an audience by using words and phrases with strong connotations associated with them in order to invoke an emotional response and or exploit stereotypes. Okay, ginagamit natin ang loaded, no? Para makumpinsi natin ang mga tao. Strong connotations. Magkaroon tayo ng strong connotations para ma-invoke yung emosyon. Okay? Para magkaroon sila ng response. Para rin magkaroon ng stereotyping. Ibig sabihin, para lahat tayo ay gawin ng isang bagay or maniwala or maging common na lang ang isang idea base sa pinapahayag ng speaker or ng writer or ng product. Let's have the example for loaded. Okay. 
loaded example. New improved formula. Yan. Time. Okay? Sinasabi, new improved formula. Ito ang mga salita or rhetoric na ginagamit ng tide para siya ay makahikahit na may bumili sa kanya. Okay? New improved formula. Tandaan, when we say loaded, gumagamit siya ng rhetorics o kaya naman ng salita. Okay? Dito, parirala siya. New improved formula. Pag narinig mo yun or nabasa, alam mo na na tide yun. So, nagkaroon na siya ng trademark, no? Nagkaroon na siya ng... So, pag nakita mo to, ang iisipin mo agad ay tide. So, yan ay example of loaded. Okay? Okay, let us practice. Directions. Identify the propaganda technique used in the following statements. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Number one. Everyone in Lemming Town is behind Jim Duffy for mayor. Shouldn't you be part of this winning team? Write your answer. Number two. LeBron James, a famous basketball player, an NBA promoted energy drink on his billboard in California. Okay? So, let's have the answer. Okay. For number one, the answer is Okay, bandwagon. For number two, correct. Since it's a prominent personality or celebrity, the answer is testimonial. Let us practice number three. Let's proceed to number three. After a morning speech to wealthy Democratic donors, Bill Gates stops by McDonald's for a burger, fries, and photo opportunity. The answer is plain fox. Okay? Kasi dito pinapakita ang pagiging pangkaraniwang tao lang ni correct, si Bill Gates. Kahit siya ay mayamang mayaman, pinapakita dito ang kanyang pagiging simpleng tao. Number four, the environmentalist group people promoting plants in its attempt to prevent highway from destroying the natural habitat of thousands of species or plant species produces a television ad with a scientist in a white lab coat explaining the dramatic consequences of altering the food chain by destroying this habitat. Okay? May pangihikayat dito. Gustong gawin mo Okay, gusto ng mga environmentalist group na ito na gawin mo ang kanilang gusto. Gawin or kanilang ginagawa na mismo. Okay, ano kaya ito? Very good. This is transfer. Next, number five. In a campaign speech to a logging company, the congressman referred to his environmentally conscious opponent as tree hugger. Sinabi ng isang congressman sa kanilang kalaban, Three hugger ka. So in this example, tinawag ng isang congressman ang isang pang congressman na may malasakit sa environment. Okay? Tinawag nitong congressman yung isang congressman na environmentally conscious. Three hugger. Okay? Ibig sabihin? Correct. Sinisirain niya. Ibig sabihin? Name calling. Number six. A brand of soft drink used the tagline Things get better with Coke. Very good. The answer is... Glittering or glittering generalities. Then, nakita mo ang get better with hope. Number seven. President Obama stated on his speech, hope, action, change for his country. Very good. The answer is loaded. Number eight. Filipinos choose local brands. What are you waiting for? Okay. So, ano kaya ang sagot dito? Very good. Bandwagon. Number nine. My favorite actress used this brand, so I must try this one. Very good. Testimonial. Number 10. A brand of soap launched their new improved formula to their product. Very good. The answer is loaded. Okay? So let us remember, propaganda is also known as persuasive techniques. Kasi, nag-persuade sila. It is used to influence opinions, emotions, attitudes, or behavior. It can be information, ideas, or rumors spread to help or harm a person, group, movement, etc. There are seven propaganda techniques. Bandwagon technique, testimonial technique, loaded word technique, glittering or glittering generalities technique, name-calling technique, 
transfer technique and plain folds technique okay so practice time directions identify the type of propaganda used in the following advertisements write your answer on the comment section number one they improve the quality of their product and launch their best dressed bandwagon name calling glittering generalities or all of the above okay take your time correct the answer is glittering let's proceed with the next one everyone is using this brand try it the answer is correct the answer is bandwagon okay let's proceed with number three this is a photo used by Nescafe in their Babang Tayo ad A. Plain Fox B. Name Calling C. Glittering Generalities or D. All of the above Correct! The answer is Plain Fox And the last one for number 4 K. A soap used new improved formula as a phrase to persuade people Correct! The answer is Loaded so I hope that you have learned a lot from this discussion and I hope that these propaganda techniques will be used for you to be able to identify okay, your judgment if it is rightful or not. Okay? Remember, do not be biased at things. All you need to do is just to be critical and analytical. So thank you for being with me today. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you next week for our next episode in English Aid. This is Sir Marvin and thank you.